Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to convert your open-ended questions in a uh, questionnaire using Google Forms uh, into word clouds using InVivo 10. So the questions that I would like to convert, I have one question here, as you can see, what are the educational platforms from which you learn the most? So this is uh, an open-ended question, so I have kind of unstructured data as you can see. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, uh, download this file uh, from uh, Google Forms and once I have the file, I can uh, 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 download it from here. Once I have it, I just go to this question and uh, copy and paste it. So I'm going to show you how, copy it and paste it into another uh, file or Excel file by clicking in control N so once I copy it like this I'm going to just delete the question so as not uh, to have it appear on the data and then register the file once I have the file registered I go okay so I'm going to go to my in vivo I'm going to open new project I'm going to type the title of the the project education here attitudes towards distance education in this case uh, I'm going to click OK So once I have my InVivo 10 uh, open, I'm going to go to external data, this ribbon at the top, and uh, choose data set. So data set in order to import the Excel, uh, the Excel file. Then I'm going to click on browse and I'm going because I put it on the desktop, I'm going to choose the data file uh, that I have just registered. So I'm going to click on it. Next. 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 And you uh, name your your file. Gadget. And finish. So now I'm waiting for it to to be created. So once it's created, I'm going to go to analyze or rather queries. I'm going to choose word frequency. And then all sources, I'm going to choose selected items. And I go here to select. I'm going to select exactly the item that I would like to uh, analyze. I'm not going to do anything here. I can just go to all words, display all words rather than the thousand most frequent words if you have lots of words okay I'm going to click on uh, run so as you can see I have a problem it says that the query returned no results so I'm going to show you how to solve this problem uh, in fact it works on some Excel spreadsheets but it doesn't work on others so I'm going to choose another way so I'm going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet and uh, copy this uh, data and open a notepad so you have just to look for your notepad so once i have my notepad open i'm going to copy and uh, and paste rather paste the data in the notepad and then uh, save it uh, as under the name of gadgets for example uh, in in the desktop or on the desktop okay so once i save it i'm just going to go back uh, so i already have one saved so i'm just going to go back to in vivo and uh, follow the same uh, steps by importing uh, or to import uh, the file but this time I'm going to choose documents and i'm going to click on browse and on desktop i'm going to uh, look for the file because i already here defined the types of files so the file is the type of text so here it is i'm going to click on it open it 
and then uh, upload it to in vivo and by following the same step by click on ok now i'm going to run the analysis on the second file so i'm going to go to query world frequency and i'm going to go to all sources select items as we have seen and then we are going to click on this recent file or this recent document then click ok and run so here it is uh, so i'm going to choose this is the summary of the most frequent uh, words and their counts you can see mobile phones are mostly used here and uh, then i'm going to go to word cloud and here is the nice shape i'm going to just to modify this word cloud a little bit uh, so i'm going to choose this shape for example or other shapes you can open the wizard and choose from the set of shapes that you want okay so once you have uh, you identify shape you are going to click on or uh, uh, right click on the shape or the word cloud and copy and go to your document and paste it well i already have here uh, one pasted i'm going to paste this one again so you can just choose uh, uh, the shape that is suitable to you and then paste it to your document and that's it and if you have any questions do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial